separate the decks into the appropriate piles. All cards labeled Exercise should go in one pile. This includes the specialty cards. When finished, you should have three piles. A pile for exercise cards, a pile for draw cards, and a pile for interval cards. Shuffle each pile. The dice determine how many rounds you will play to complete a game. You will need only one dice. Advanced players should use two. Review all the exercise cards. You will want to be familiar with how to perform each exercise before game play begins. Each card features an exercise and a point value for completing the exercise. It also features a QR code that, when scanned, displays a video of the exercise. You can also get to that video entering a short link in any web browser. Each card is color-coded by the primary muscle group worked. The color is labeled on each card to aid those that are colorblind. Blue is cardio, red works your core, yellow is legs, green is chest, and orange is arms. Refer to the anatomy of a card to see the features of each card. Once you are familiar with the exercises on the card, it's time to play a game. The exercises performed should be done at 80 to 100% intensity, meaning perform the exercises as fast as you can under a controlled and safe motion without sacrificing proper form. First, get your timer ready by downloading the Hit Interval Training Timer app. Start the gameplay by rolling one dice. This will determine how many rounds you will complete. Now, pick a draw card. Place the dice and draw card where all players can see. Next, you should draw the appropriate amount of interval cards, one interval card per round. So, since we rolled a three, we should draw three interval cards. Please note only three interval cards are needed for every player as everyone will be exercising at the same intervals. Now since the draw card was a two, we're going to draw two exercise cards per round. The other players should do the same. Now prepare the app so the timer syncs with your gameplay. Enter the interval length in the work section, rest periods, and number of rounds into the app. It is suggested you enter 10 seconds in the prep section of the app to prepare the players for the starting whistle. The cooldown section is the amount of rest in between each round. The typical amount of time entered in the cooldown section is two to three minutes. You are now ready to play. Be sure to thoroughly stretch and warm up before exercising. Start the timer by pushing go on the app and perform the exercises on the exercise cards in round one for the amount of time indicated on the interval card. The app will indicate when you should rest and when you should exercise. You should complete the exercises with 80 to 100% intensity without sacrificing proper form. After you perform the exercise, rest for the amount of time indicated on the interval card. Repeat for the next exercise card. After the exercises are completed in the round, rest for two to three minutes. For each exercise completed, you win the amount of points indicated on the card, one, two, or three. If you need to rest and do not complete an exercise for the desired length of time, you do not earn points for that card. You also do not earn points for the card if you do not give at least 80% intensity throughout the entire exercise period. If either of these scenarios occur, place those cards to the side so you don't tally those points at the end of the game. Specialty cards are mixed in with the exercise cards. These specialty cards incorporate an interesting strategy into your fast pace exercise game. The swap card allows you to swap one of your unperformed exercise cards with another player during a rest period. You may choose to swap a card because your opponent has an exercise you like better or because you may want to exchange a card for a higher point value. Please note that you cannot swap an exercise card you or your opponent already completed. The power-up card allows you to double the point value of one of your cards for that game. You can save this card until the end of the game to decide which card to apply it to. You can give the extra card to an opponent so they draw and perform an extra card during their next rest period. When you present this card, the chosen player must perform the card for the entire rest period. This extra exercise has no point value. Use this card strategically as presenting it at the right time may tire your opponent out, preventing them from earning points. 
The shield card blocks an opponent's card like an extra card in a swap card. Like the other specialty cards, you may only use this card if you have earned it. For example, if it was dealt as the second card in the round and your opponent gives you the swap card on your first card in the round, you cannot use the shield card because you haven't completed enough cards yet to access the shield card. You may want to hold on to your shield once you earn it and not use it right away, as they become more valuable as the game proceeds. This game is based on a 2 to 1 work to rest ratio, which means every 2 seconds of exercising you will rest for 1 second. Some players might find this too intense, others may find it not enough. Feel free to vary the interval cards ratios to suit your comfort level. A common variation is to do a 1 to 1 work to rest ratio or even a 1 to 2 work to rest ratio. As you get more familiar with the game, feel free to create your own variations. Download the instructions to learn about common variations like group and tournament play. Check out our other fun and competitive fitness products at Stack52.com. Thank you for playing Hit the Game by Stack52.